Here we are again upon another holiday season. In our household, we have a lot of traditions. We trim our tree, we hang our stockings, we hang bows, and we eagerly await Santa on Christmas Eve. Well, last year, we adopted another tradition, literally. We have adopted what is called the Elf on the Shelf. The tale of the Elf on the Shelf is that you adopt your elf and he shows up the day after Thanksgiving and stays with you until Christmas Eve. What is the job of the elf, you ask? The elf comes into the household and watches your children and reports all of his information back to the North Pole and divulges all of his information that he's obtained as to how your child has behaved so that way Santa knows if they're behaving or not. During the night, the elf leaves your house, goes back to the North Pole, and then comes back and can end up in any type of situation. He could be in a silly situation, he could hide, there's many different things um, that he could do and later on I'll demonstrate to you um, the first thing that I did for my son when his elf arrived this year. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our elf, Jacob. As you can see, the elf on the shelf comes in a great little kit. Jacob has his own little house that he was in. Sorry, Jacob, I dropped you. And Jacob can be basically sat just about anywhere. And he also comes with the book that uh, I will talk to you about in a little while as well. The book is great for the kids. It gives them an idea of exactly what the elf does and what he's going, what they can expect from the elf. According to an article in the Huffington Post, The Elf on the Shelf, A Christmas Tradition, started as a book like this and it was self-published in 2005 by the author Carol Abertold and her daughter Shonda Bell. The pair wanted to write a special tradition they started in their household. Also, an article in Inc. magazine written last year by Abram Brown titled A Heartwarming Tale of Shameless Promotion, the elf on the shelf landed on the Inc. 5000 entrepreneur list two years in a row. With, 2000, with a 2010 revenue of $9.9 .9 million. So I would say they did pretty well for themselves. A great concept that turned into a wonderful new family tradition, especially in our household. I have seen people come up with several different funny, crazy ideas to do with their elf. Um, some have put baking flour on their table and had the elf do, make it look like he did snow angels. Um, I've seen people have the elf take a roll of toilet paper and roll himself down the stairs in the roll of toilet paper, which obviously is a very silly idea. Uh, last year, I put Jacob in the fruit basket holding a banana. What I'm going to demonstrate to you now is what I did for my son this year, the day after Thanksgiving, when Jacob arrived at our home. So I took a simple tissue box. I took a simple tissue box and I just laid Jacob on it and I folded a tissue to look like a pillow. And I put the pillow here and I took took another tissue and I laid Jacob on here like so and covered him up with a tissue. I left my son a note letting him know that Jacob was here and he was ready to report back to Santa, but he had eaten too much turkey the night before, so he wanted to just take a nap for the day, but he was still watching. Uh, in closing, I'm going to go ahead and read you the book, The Elf on the Shelf, just so you have a better idea of what, uh, what the author, Carol Ebersold, and her daughter, Shonda Bell, wanted to portray to the children. I hope you enjoyed my speech. The Elf on the Shelf. 
Have you ever wondered how Santa could know if you're naughty or nice each year as you grow? For hundreds of years, it's been a big secret. It now can be shared if you promise to keep it. At holiday time, Santa sends me to you. I watch and report on all that you do. My job's an assignment from Santa himself. I am his helper, a friendly scout chef, scout elf. At first I come to the place you call home. You quickly must give me a name of my own. Once you are finished, my mission can start. What will you call me, Markle or Zart? Will it be Foddle, Criddle, or Clyde? This bee is cute, too, but you must decide. Each night while you're sleeping, to Santa I'll fly, to the North Pole, right through the dark sky. Of course, Christmas magic helps me to be quick. I laugh with my friends and report to St. Nick. I tell him if you have been good or bad, the news of the day makes him happy or sad. A push or a shove, I'll report to the boss, but small acts of kindness will not be a loss. In the car at the park, or even at school, and the world will get out if you break a rule. I'll be back at your home before you awake, and then you must find the new spot I will take. You'll jump out of bed and come running to see who'll be the first to spy little old me. Maybe the kitchen, the bathroom, or den is where you will find me, your special elf friend. I can find, I can hide on a plant a shelf or a frame. Where will I be? Let's make it a game. There's only one rule that you'll have to follow, so I will come back and be here tomorrow. Please do not touch me. My magic might go, and Santa won't hear all I've seen or I know. I won't get to tell him that you said your prayers or helped to make cookies or cleaned off the stairs. How will he know how good you have been he might start to think you forgot about him. I can't speak to you, so says Santa Claus. All, at, all of us elves have to follow his laws. I'll listen to you. Tell me your wishes. Would you like a game or some tiny toy dishes? The gleam in my eye and my bright little smile shows you I'm listening and noting your file. The final decision with Santa now rests. What do you think? Will you get your request? The night before Christmas, my job is at an end. The rest of the year with Santa, I'll spend. So blow me a kiss and bid me farewell. I'll fly away when I hear Santa's bell. Of course I will miss you, but wait till next year when the holidays come and again I'll reappear. Thank you so much and happy holidays.